A big part of the discussion about appointing a new Supreme Court justice is about the idea of ruling from the bench or the bench becoming part of the legislative process as opposed to just being the judicial process and um, I guess deciding whether laws are, are legal or, or meet constitutional muster. Let me give an example of a case in Massachusetts, I think, uh, that raises that very issue. You get four guys in a car in Boston driving by a park. Police spot them and for whatever reason decide to pull them over. Um, they are within 100 feet of a park. Okay, by the time they pull over, they are just outside 100 feet of that park. Now, why that matters is because they had a gun and they had drugs with them. Now, under the law, you can charge them with a little bit extra by being caught within that 100 feet of the park. That makes it a more serious crime. But they were just outside when they were pulled over, when they finally pulled over and they finally um, uh, were, were arrested. And the Supreme Court has ruled that there is no precedent or should not be any precedent for somebody passing by a park or a school zone, for that matter, and having drugs and weapons with them, that the uh, intent of the person has to be considered. And I wonder if that's really the role of the Supreme Court to be determining that. Uh, the law states if you are uh, apprehended or you are arrested uh, within that zone that you face some extra uh, penalties as a result of that. The fact that the police flagged these guys within that zone and it wasn't until after they stopped them outside of the zone that they discovered the guns and the uh, the drugs on board. Uh, the Supreme Court says, well, again, we don't know. You're just driving through a zone, you know, no guarantee they were going to stop. We didn't know. Um, I think the Supreme Court is wrong on this, and I think the Supreme Court is trying to legislate rather than make a decision as to whether a law is constitutional. It's my opinion. We'll talk more about it on WBSM.